If you like making music using sound loops and packs, you might have missed that BandLab, the current owners of Cakewalk, that also have an online DAW, they have a vast variety of sound loops and packs that you can download all for free. And the first thing first, as I checked it, what about BandLab loops and samples and royalty free? And as we read, all BandLab loops and samples are 100% royalty free. Our loops and instruments are made by our in-house sound team. So you won't have to worry about the pre-existing copyright, etc. either. More info can be found in the links you see on the screen. So that means if you use these sound pool labs, you can virtually create a song, produce, mix, master, and have it commercially available. You can put it on Spotify, you can put it on YouTube, and you won't have any copyright strike. And of course, you have to have your creativity in it. You can't just put the sound pools there as they are. You need to be creative. You need to be creating something of your own from the samples. And yes, you can do that. So you can create songs and you can add your own guitar instruments, if you like, or your vocals or however you wish, and then release them without any worry about copyright. That was the first thing I checked and I wanted to mention to you that in this video as well, because that's the first question I'm going to be asked. Of course, if you have any concerns, please do refer BandLab's web website for help and further information. So from the website, you can browse and you can listen to the sound packs as well, see how they actually sound. But the easiest way I found is actually going to the packs. Here, you can preview the packs. And let's say this one, just out of curiosity. If that's the type of the music you want to create, you've got it there. Or um, Thomas's Tech House. Let's go Chill Wave. Metal Party. How about Steve Jackson's drums? Oh. Or percussions? Oh. Or mountain? Some guitar tunes? Anyway, there are heaps and heaps of packs with large variety of genres of music and moods that you can listen to and download. If something that you are interested, let's say uh, this one here, the um, winter mountain in Australia at the moment, it is July, it is winter, so that's why I'm going to winter mountain. We are on the other side of the planet, so <laughs> the northern hemisphere, it is summer, but southern hemisphere is winter. So let's click and find out. So here we can have a look all the contents of the pack and we can even listen to them. We can just click. We know the uh, the tempo, we know it's a loop, it's a tempo, and uh, the, the key of the song as well, and what type of instrument it is being played. And if we're happy with that, we can download the pack. And if we want to create a song online, we can always open in the mix editor, which is in browser DAW. And then we can move it to Cakewalk by BandLab. I do have a video how to move BandLab projects to and from Cakewalk. I will uh, leave a card or, an, or link in the description as well in that regard if you're interested doing it that way. Of course, you can click, as I mentioned, and download all of the packs. But there is an easier way. And that's why you are here. And that's what I'm going to show you. Of course, the easier way is using the BandLab app itself. BandLab Assistant comes with Cakewalk when you install it. I know a lot of people complain that it runs in the background, it's not necessary. Of course, you can turn that off, and, but if you are interested in making music using the sound packs, 
from BandLab, just run it. As you can see, once I'm in the sounds, I can go to packs. And the same packs that we saw on the website exist here as well. And I can click and listen. Okay, and let's go down to my winter mountain. And that's the one. Fine, let's click and open up. And here we can actually see all the loops within that pack. Now, great thing is we can also filter them by the different instrument types. And this way I'm going to start with the drums because that will give me the tempo as well, which is 101. So, let's put you aside. Let's create a new project, an empty one. And I'm going to put the tempo as 101. Of course, you can always change it later on if you want to speed it up or slow it down. Let's give us ourselves a little bit more room. We are all ready to go. Let's bring up BandLab. Let's have a listen to see if we like any of the drums. Uh, what about um, uh, this one? I'm just going to click. No. Yeah, that sounds good. And I'm just going to drag it straight here. And automatically, it creates a track for me, and the sample is in there. Let's have a listen. Perfect. Next, we've got the drums. Let's go to bass. What can we find? Yeah, that sounds much better. And I'm just going to drag that as previously. Now we have drums and bass. Okay, let's click on that one and let's put it into a loop. Okay, so next one. We've got our drums and bass. Let's put some... I'm just going to do one more instrument, maybe just a guitar. So as you can see, that's how easy it is. You just drag and drop it and arrange it. You can, of course, replace the guitars and play your own guitar, your own melodies, or your own piano, keys, synths, and you can mix and match from all different packs as well. Not just from one pack, you can fusion two different packs together to create your own creation. And that's where crea creativity comes in, um, and you can do. And once you're happy, once you record it and finished, you are ready to release, and there's no one... Uh, as far as I can see, no one is there stopping you and claiming copyright for the music that you just produced using the BandLab sound packs. Well, I hope this video was helpful. Now you know where to get the BandLab sound packs and be creative and create your own song as well with sound loops and packs. If it was helpful, make sure you give me the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, notifications. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. And I'll catch you in the next one.